May we call the order at six o'clock, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the Thank you. We are being broadcast live over Van Buren Channel 12 and YouTube. Clerk Wright, would you please call the roll? Trustee Kelly, here. Trustee Boyd, here. Trustee Martin, here. Trustee Quaish, here. Trustee Bud, here. Bud, 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 here. We have a board. Thank you, sir. Uh, we'll begin with the executive sum summary day. Of, as always, we will pay our regular bills for the consent agenda, which will be our prepaid list and our voucher list uh, and our meeting minutes. We will then have a legislative update with our new estate representative, Reggie Miller. And then we'll go into new business, which will include discussion on and awarding a contract for waste management, waste management uh, for the style of waste services and then direct the staff to begin the negotiations with them. There will also be discussion on the selection of a firework company and um, uh, hiring a company to do tree work, tree service work for the Riggs Park tree removal project that we're trying to use to do. Yes, yeah. Can I get a motion to adopt the current agenda? I make a motion to adopt the agenda as read. All right. Hearing no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? This motion passes. Next is the adoption of the consent agenda. Trustee Bornison. I move that we adopt the consent agenda, which consists of the following uh, board meeting minutes of March 21st, prepaid list of March 23rd, and March list of April 4th, all of 2023. Trustee Frazier. Yeah. All right. Um, there's, I have a motion, I have a second. There ain't no discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Next item is public hearing. We have no public hearing. We now go to correspondence, announcements, and presentations. I have one announcement, and then Treasurer Flood has an announcement, and then we'll go to our state representative. Um, I, I might announce basically we have a track from the Belleville Area Museum. We need your help to plan exhibits. We want your input. If you have any suggestions for or would like to be part of developing those exhibits, please contact us. You need to contact the supervisor's office. We'll make sure you get to where you need to go. Um, we're looking for volunteers who are interested in helping to design the exhibits for the Bellevue Area Museum. Treasurer Button. Um, I guess I, this is an announcement that is, um, it's very sad to have to make, but many men and Terry Sharnbeck were very active in our police department. They trained dogs of all kinds on hand and roads, and they were very instrumental in why we had a canine unit because they trained all of our German shepherds. They were also a part of our police department as officers for a good many years. They did retire, and most recently, they have been in Florida. We just got word that Terry passed away on the 31st. So we'd like to send our condolences to his wife, his son David, and his son Vincent. And if you would join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. Thank you. Does anybody else have any announcements? Announcements. Okay, can I call forward our state representative, Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller has been a hard work now for four or five months. Three. Three. Almost three. <laughs> three. Yes. Feels like four or five. 
She's she more like out here. She really does. Can you hear me? Now we can. Right. Like I need this, huh? For those of you who know me, I'm loud. Um, but anyway, I wanted to come and give you a quick update, and it's so good to be here. I took for granted how much this township does for its residents, plain and simple. And I took all of you for granted as well. You're all amazing. I wanted to start with that. Um, after election, after being elected and in between the holidays, um, Jackson Paul, who I hired as my chief of staff, you, you might remember Jackson as my campaign manager. He finished his um, master's degree and then um, he, he started in my office um, January 11th and we hit the ground running. We went to as many, as many municipalities that we could reach during the holidays and into January because we wanted to hear about their concerns and what their needs were. And we met with many elected officials. Next, I had to fill out paperwork as to what committees that I wanted to be on. And um, you had to hand in a resume, which I haven't done in years. My um, references had passed away. That's how long it was. Um, one being Ralph Nagma, that's how far back that was. Um, also, I had to um, hand in a uh, CV, curriculum vita, along with a paragraph as to why I felt I was qualified to be on each one of these boards. So I was appointed to transportation, the economic and development and small business committee, and also health policy. And I was made aware that I would be chairing agriculture. And all of you know that I know nothing about agriculture, but I thought since half my district is rural and farmland, I should I should know something about it. So it was an honor to, you know, to be told by the Speaker of the House that I would be chairing that. We're in Lansing three days a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I stay up there at a hotel because we have meetings that go way into the night and we start very early in the morning. Mondays and Fridays, I'm in district. And I have uh, meetings and uh, I will have, be having coffee hours here. We've already had a few. We made arrangements with the Downtown Development Authority, Mary, who uh, graciously allowed us to use the office on Fridays to hold in-person meetings. And that includes Senator Darren Camilleri. To date, now keep in mind, this is from January 11th through March 24th, we've held 178 meetings. Third, we've attended 13 events, had two coffee hours, and one town hall. We're having another town hall coming up. My hour was in Dundee <laughs> at Cool Beans at, at the time of 11 a.m. The next day, it was hit by a tornado, and that building is now closed. And they're seeing if it can ever be repaired, this crack in it. Um, let's see. Um, we're in Milan with Congresswoman Debbie Dangle and State Senator Irwin on April 21st at 5 p.m. at the Morning Owl. And now that we're settled, we'd like to have two to three coffee hours a month and uh, quarterly town hall meetings. To date, our office has resolved 23 unemployment issues, four new pending. I also have a constituent services director. His name is Finley Arnett. Some things I wanted to talk about, we secured. 11.8 million for the um, Van Buren Denton Bridge and also the Iron Bell Trail. Dang. Initially, it was 7 million that I went asking for. Kevin told me it's worth seven. And then after the town hall, we all met that following Friday, sat down with architects and um, engineers, Wayne County officials. It was decided that. To repair it was not enough. We needed a complete rebuild, which means raising it, widening it, adding a sidewalk. And they said, Reggie, you're going to have to go get more money. And I went, do you understand? You just don't walk in and, and ask for it. It isn't like that. So they said, you could do it. So I said, um, I, I don't know if I'll be able to, to do that. But um, I was able to do that. And so we're not to exceed 11.8 million. I do have a letter of commitment also from Joe Tate, Speaker of the House on that, just in case something were to happen and no one remembers. Um, <laughs> I didn't want that, that uh, unfortunately. Did it right. I, it did right, exactly. Um, 
Next, we dealt with the East Palestine rail disaster along with the train derailment right here in Van Buren Township. The calls, the amount of calls and emails that I got was, it was amazing. Also, we worked with not only Debbie Dingell's office, but the governor's office to keep the toxic waste out of our community. Then I went ahead and passed my first House resolution to, incur, to encourage the U.S. government to increase transparency on notification standards across the country on how that transportation of that waste gets here and uh, we need more standards in place, plain and simple. We, meaning myself, Darren, Brett, Dylan Wangella, put out a press release asking then the Department of Environmental Great Lakes and Energy, known as EGLE now, to formally request an additional public meeting so we can get more comments in. We felt that wasn't being done. So I got a call from EGLE last week. They have granted our request for a tentative meeting date of Thursday, April 13th. It will be held at the Wayne County Community College at 7 p.m. at the Ted Scott location. Also, the public comment period has been extended to May 3rd. And if you want information on how to submit questions for that, see me afterwards. Next, we had power storms or power outages and two ice storms. So I started getting calls once the power went from individuals who had who were nursing mothers and people that had COVID and um, real cases of need. It was awful, and I escalated as much as I could for those individuals once I was contacted. And I worked my, with the state rep that was assigned to me for DTE. I advocated for also the wastewater uh, treatment plant that was running on a generator in Milan, and it was on its last leg. And um, I advocated to get that fixed quickly because that would have been a catastrophe. That's raw sewage. So there will be further legislation to, uh, to come that will hold DTE accountable for those power outages. I think there will be new legislation introduced on the $25 fee that they'll give you. you know, it's just a trinket, a token of food that's lost from your refrigerator. That's unacceptable and um, to be continued. But I will tell you my rep who was assigned to me the DTE was um, in communication with me the entire 10 days that we had that outage. I advocated with a lot, and Kevin McNamara worked with me on this, advocated for road grading. Our dirt roads are were undrivable in certain areas, and that's just unacceptable. So we negotiated to get quickly expedited Hall, Hooked, Elwell, and Martinsville Road. So that was a good undertaking that um, is now resolved. We introduced seven bills. We passed 89 bills. We have been in session 22 days, seven, no attendance, um, no meetings, no voting, but you still have to be there. That was incredible. It, we broke records with that across the nation. It's only been done four times in history. So those bills included repeal uh, retirement tax and increased uh, working family tax credit, the 1931 abortion ban, Elliot Larson Civil Rights Act, that was also passed. And I wanna be clear that discrimination, hate and bigotry has no home in Michigan here. And we fought really hard on that one. Uh, we co-sponsored Sunshine Week, which includes government transparency legislation. Michigan ranks dead last, and that's got to change, and that time is now. We passed common sense gun legislation with bipartisan support on safe storage. And we're working as hard as we can. They've given us a, a couple of weeks off of session, but we're still working all in district. And um, so I thought, why not come here? since I'm not in session, just to give you a brief update of what I've been up to. So going forward, let's see. We will be working on the state's budget for the upcoming fiscal year. And if it's anything like this, <laughs> this budget here at the township, it's going to be, um, it's going to take a lot of work. I am having conversations with Myers, right? With Meyer representatives right now since they were in my office and stopped in for me and they said, Reggie, uh, is there anything we can do in your district? And I was like, yeah, 
They said, what? I said, well, we have this garbage issue with trash blowing around. So um, to be continued on that one, hopefully we'll get some help there. I am introducing a house bill package for child sexual assault statute of limitations with um, State Representative Julie Brixey that will look at both criminal and civil um, accounts. Specific language is to come. And I just wanted to thank you all so much for listening to me. It's been an incredible almost three months coming up. April 11th, we'll be here before you know it. But um, so how am I doing so far? Okay. You're doing great. Thank you. I'm tired. <laughs> but it's a good time. It's a good time. Anybody have any questions for the representative? Keep up the good work. Thank you. Yeah. I'll hand up cards. If anyone wants to get a hold of me, please do. And it was so nice seeing your family up in Lansing at the Capitol. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for being oh, here with my daughter still talking about going out there. Oh. Give you a chance to meet with wonderful to see them. Thank you. Thank Justin. you. We were we were in pretty dire straits here with that bridge. And uh you uh we were we were going to be in trouble there. It was very timely that you needed that money. Thank you. Well, you said I need help, Reggie. Yeah. I said, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we should be doing: is yeah. helping each other and yeah. um, being stronger for it. So it's so good to see all of you. I've missed you all very much. Yeah. So that's it. Thank you, Nick. Okay. Does uh, anybody else have anything they want to say? No. Okay, moving we'll on to public comment. Where is the public comment regarding anything that's on the PDP agenda for today? Come on, Fed Forest. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm oh, good. Boy, I was running. Traffic is wonderful. <laughs> 275. Wow, isn't that great? Yeah. Anyway, I just, uh, my name is Paul Rutenberg. I'm with Priority Waste. I just wanted to stop by and thank the township for a, a fantastic bid. Uh, Ron and his team well, were concise. They they answered every question right away. It was really a really a nice uh, process. Um, and I wanted to congratulate you on your choice of waste management. I see Shine Fells over there. So <laughs> have, have a good day. Good evening. Good luck to you. Thank 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 uh, I'm good business. We have not worked in the new business. Can I get a motion and uh, let out the discussion on to consider approval of awarding a bid for solid waste services? Anybody want that? Who's here? Mr. Uh, Trustee Martin. Make a motion we approve the bid for solid waste to waste management and direct staff to enter contract negotiations and bring back the contract to the Township Board for consideration. Support. Trustee Thank you. Good evening, board. <clears throat> Before you tonight is a request to award the bid for solid waste collection services to waste management. And uh, as indicated, direct staff to enter into contract negotiations and bring that con contract for, back for the board for consideration. Um, to give an overview, in late January, the township put out an RFP for qualified solid waste companies to provide collection service for uh, curbside residential solid waste in the township. We conducted a bid opening on March 6th where we received proposals from four qualified companies. Uh, these proposals were evaluated and we're recommending that the bid be awarded to waste management. During the summary, we'll talk a little bit about the proposal, our public engagement process, uh, how the proposals were evaluated, and what our next steps are moving forward. The proposal included items which are typical of an RFP. Um, specifically, they included a scope of service and, and price and middle sheets. Um, we did request a variety of items in those price sheets, including household rates for trash recycling and air service services. Um, our current level of solid waste service includes weekly trash service, weekly recycling, and weekly yard waste. So based on this feedback we received from our community survey and concerns township staff has received over the years, we requested making a few changes to our service level. Um, we discussed these in the presentation before, uh, they were the inclusion of a consistent number of bulky or white good items, which can be collected curbside, the full deployment of carts for recycling, and the extension of the yard waste season from November 30th until the end of the second full week in December. We did request an optional pricing on every other week recycling service in an effort to consider the option uh, to reduce overall costs, but due to the feedback we've received as part of our public engagement process, 
uh, and the minor cost savings that was submitted pricing, we're not going to be recommending this change moving forward. So regarding the public engagement process, we took with this bid. Uh, the township conducted one uh, large informational meeting on March 13th, where we had uh, about 25 to 30 residents show up. Um, and, and listen to us and discuss the proposal. And we also held four evening office hour sessions to allow our residents to discuss the program changes with us. Overall, the feedback that we received has been productive, uh, but the most common concerns that we received from our residents were revolving around having the, the paper trash service. Many of the comments and questions we received um, were documented and written down and are addressed in the FAQ document, which was attached to the board action and is also on the uh, township's website under uh, waste and recycling. So regarding the proposal and how we evaluated it, we utilized the subcommittee, which include township staff, uh, the township supervisor, clerk, and treasurer to help review the proposals. The proposals were evaluated using a handful of criteria, including pricing, experience and ability, technology and equipment, and the uh, submitted recyclables revenue sharing formula. Uh, the criteria were assigned weights based on their level of importance, and were ranked from four to one, with four being the highest scoring proposal in each category. The result of the evaluation was waste management having the highest overall score. The request before the board is to award the bid and direct the administration to negotiate a contract and bring it back before the board for consideration. There was a model contract which was put in the RFP and the proposals all required the submitter to review and provide feedback on that contract. Um, so we already have a head start on it. So the what the bid is awarded this evening is to have a contract before the township board in May for their consideration. The second component of our solid waste transition will require the township to change our solid waste collection ordinance to authorize a single hauler for the single family homes in the township. Um, this ordinance will also uh, establish the authority for the township to charge user fees for service and to establish rules and guidelines for the haulers and there's and some other requirements uh, in addition. A draft ordinance is currently under review by our legal counsel um, and it's anticipated that that ordinance should be ready to go before the township board at the next meeting in May. Um, we've provided a lot of supporting documentation which has been attached to the board action. Um, a lot of it's also on the township website as well, including all four proposals. Uh, but what this concludes my summary um, of the board action. I'm available to answer any questions the board may have. I also want to introduce Chantal Forrest, who is our representative from waste management, and she has indicated she's available to answer any questions of the township board as well. Open to questions. No, I'm I'm happy to have uh, waste management and the job that they do for our residents. If you're watching from home, we had a one hour meeting two weeks ago on this very same subject, which is um, why we probably have a lot of questions right now. Trustee Martin, who's uh, here? I just want to know if you can give a resident some idea of what it, small park or what it may cost uh, monthly. We're well, we're still working out the specific fee. Our estimates are the fee is going to be under $14 per month per household. Any questions? Won't that include that would include that would include weekly trash collection, it would include weekly recycling collection, and it would include weekly yard waste collection during yard waste season. So from the First week in April through uh, the end of the second week in December. Pretty much what they have now. Yes. Okay. Mr. Martin? Mr. Chair, one other thing. I know people uh, have concerns about bulk pickup yes. and how that would be uh, handled. Would it be on a, uh, you have to call to get, make an appointment or, you know, that will pick it up or would it just put it on the curb and have to get it or? So we we did have a meeting with waste management last week where we discussed how that was going to be addressed. Um, currently, what waste management is going to uh, request is that the resident, if you have a bulk item, that you either contact uh, the township. Um, Jennifer, who works in our uh, public services department, can handle it. Um, there's also going to be a way that you can request a bulk item collection through waste management's website as well. Um, but those will have to be scheduled through waste management. Um, 
but but we can we can always provide assistance as needed. Okay, good. I don't have a question yet, Mr. Cunningham. Um, at least I don't have a question because I sit on the committee and we talked about this numerous times. Um, I know we had a lot of we had numerous uh, town hall meetings. We had surveys. Um, we answered a lot of questions in the meeting. I thought the process was very thorough. Um, the sex was the RFP was 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 good. Um, the whole process, I think, I think was excellent. So, even though we have the same uh, provider that we've used, I think we have history with that provider, so we know what we did, it. and it's good to see that the history matches up with the with the price. So, and then, um, I've been living in, living in the township in the township for almost thirty years, and um, I've been dealing with waste management. And, over over those years, I think we've we've been we've been given great service with this company, and it's great to see that the prices is uh, yes, it's com was very compatible with other um, vendors that came in and did it. So I'm satisfied. That's why I don't have any questions because I'm pretty satisfied with what the transition. Mm -hmm. Good job, very good job on you. Um, and you know, the, the, I want to say that you met and Ron and um, and Larry, and Larry you guys did a great job, and they're throughout the whole process. And that has a lot to do with it. Okay. Good to hear. They're uh, they're a good company, and they provided our residents with what I consider good service, and that's. That's all we want is a good service from and a company that hears our residents' concerns. Okay. We are negotiating. We're not quite there yet. There's just a few little changes that we need to see. Um, I have a motion by Trustee Martin. I have support by Trustee Frazier. Do I hear any more discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Good work. Thank you. <clears throat> Next item is discussion to consider approval of the selection of American Fireworks Company. Can I get a motion? Do we have to? Right. Um, I'm going to get back to your motion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I'd like to make a motion to consider approval of selection of Middle Fireworks Company for the June 25th, 2023 Vanguard Township Fireworks Show to cost not to exceed $25,000. Support. Yeah, I got a motion of support. Um, Director Zagman. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, good evening. I can never tell. Okay, there we go. Um, thank you for the opportunity to bring to you the contract for the 2023 Van Buren Township Fireworks Show. We put out notice to receive bids in the amount of $25,000 for this event. In many cases, one would do the work to be completed in a bid and let the bidder decide how much said work would cost. In this case, it's a little bit different. We budgeted $25,000 for this show, and we allow the bidder to detail out to us how much bang for the buck we are going to get. We have a lot of fun looking at these contracts. We received, received four bids from Great Lakes, American, Pyrotechnico, and Zen Valley. After scrutinizing all of their proposals, I interviewed each company to ask them basic questions about their safety, their setup, cleanup, how they handle different situations. Uh, putting together a fireworks show involves our industry as much as it does science and, of course, safety. There are many things to consider. Once I gathered all the information, I sat down with Director Locke, and the two of us went through each contract, all of the answers to the phone interviews, and scored each bidder. Our clear choice was to hire American Fireworks Company. They had a very thorough proposal, met all of the RFP requirements, and had a greater shot total of fireworks than the other bidders. American also had a better plan for handling inclement weather, 
and took more responsibility in supervising their setup. And to give you an idea of the shot total from the different companies, so we look at more than just how many firearms these companies are going to give us for that price. We look at what type of presentation they're going to give, what does this display going to look like, and also talking about their safety. Okay, a lot of it though, though comes down to okay, you sound like you're going to put on a good show, but what does it come down to when we look at the numbers? Great Lakes was going to give us a total of 864 shots. Zambelli, 1196. Pyrotechnico, 1315. And American with 1842. So we're clearly getting more bang for our buck. We would like to request that, um, that you approve our contract with American Fireworks Company and for the clerk and supervisor to execute the contract. Okay. Any questions? What's the date? It is June 24th with a rain date of the following day. So Saturday, Sunday. Any other questions? Very done. We've got a motion by Clerk Wright, supported by Trustee Frazier. Very no further questions. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Move on to item number three, which is the inspection item to consider approval of PPM tree service for the Riggs Park. Can I get a motion? Does the clerk like to tell you? It's here. Yes. I move to approve the selection of PPM tree service and Arbor Care LLC for the Riggs Park tree removal project for a total of $28,000. Thank you. Uh, Charger, take away. Good evening, board. Uh, tonight we are seeking approval to hire PPM Tree Service and Arbor Care out of Westland, Michigan to remove a section of trees at the north end of Ricks Park. We had 11 bids submitted for this project. PPM was the low bid at $28,000. PPM um, has serviced uh, many cities around here, including Cam Township, the City of Westland. They handle the service Washtenaw County Water Department. Wayne Westland Schools and the Township of Ypsilanti. The trees we are looking to remove are located along all along Huron River Drive from Martinsville Road heading east to the edge of the park property. It is going to be all every tree that is in this area between the road and the newly constructed Iron Bell um, Trail sidewalk the path. The vast majority of these trees are either dead, dying, have um, several um, hazardous limbs, especially with the two of storms that we recently had, which has um, caused more damage, or there are also a lot of what we consider invasive tree species in this area. So not only do these trees pro provide a hazard to the road traffic, but now that we have this walking path there, we now have an extra hazard for pedestrian traffic. So, um, Brian Dobbs is here from PPM. He's the president of PPM. If there's any questions for him or for myself, but again, we deem these trees that it's a it's a pretty high priority, especially with this new walking path. The trees there, the condition there is is pretty bad. So, any questions? Sure. The chair, I just would like to say that a couple of days ago, I went in the town from Haggerty. <clears throat> The town and I couldn't get over what the trees look like. And I did a place I called it Tammy and I said, Oh my gosh, what are we doing? She said, Well, if I'm the packet, we're going to clean them up. And uh, you are right, those trees are in bad shape. Plus, the north thing, too, once these trees are removed, it does give a better visual look into the park and all the new um, features that are going on. They've just recently planted trees. We had a, an ecological burn um, a couple of weeks ago. So, along with the uh, the hazard of it, it's a better aesthetic for the park. I've been watching them little green cones out there in that field. <laughs> Good yeah. the, um, you know, I'm a tree lover, and uh, but our safety, our resident safety is a, a priority, so and we want our township to look the best it can. So I support this. I'm driving down the road a couple months ago, and she's like, don't say it, don't say it. <laughs> I'm tired of our 
dark speedy hidden. There's no heat, you can see something. Here we go do all this landscaping and we had that row of scraggly tree down down through there. I'm so happy that we're taking those things out. They're, they're just they're brush trees or garbage trees or falling apart. You drive through there now, you know exactly what I mean. I mean they're like they're like a an impenetrable wall right along the side of the uh, road to the nice park. Um, uh, this is uh, Director Locke. Uh, this is probably your first time up. Uh, first there. time up here. Well, yeah, I'm back to under fire. <laughs> Doing a wonderful job. Let's grill them more. <laughs> is anybody else have any questions? All right, I have no more questions. So I have a motion by Trustee Kelly. It's been supported by Treasurer Bud. Hearing no further discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? The motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Reports we have none. We are now on the public comment for non agenda items. I believe we have um, uh, John Hurley. Good evening, board. I don't think I have to introduce myself. I'm John Hurley. And I live on Greenwood Ford here in Van Buren Township. Your reputation precedes you. Oh, God. As long as it's not a wonderful street and post office. <laughs> uh, I'd like to, uh, for the residents in, in uh, Greenbrier subdivision, I'd like to give an update if they're watching. Uh, today and yesterday, uh, we started the project, so I, it's been going on for a while. But we started marking off areas that are going to be under construction starting tomorrow. All the curb, the driveway approaches, and all the cement work that has to be removed in order to uh, continue on with the project of paving our streets uh, have been marked. All the areas will be saw cut tomorrow, I was still rain or shine. And on Thursday, they are going to remove all those sections and have open spaces until at least Monday when they attempt to start pouring cement again for the committee. Uh, we have doubled the linear feet of our curving and cement work from the original project. The winter really did a, a, a uh, an, an item on our, on our cement work this past winter, as well as the potholes are back after we filled them last fall. So we have our annual homeowners meeting coming up a week from tomorrow, and any resident that's interested will give you up to date, up right up until Wednesday evening at our, our annual homeowners meeting. So I hope a lot of our residents are. Uh, aware of the homeowners meeting as well as watching television today or YouTube about this board meeting. And I appreciate uh, the moment to let our you know, residents know. Thank you. Does Greenbrier have a uh, website? No, no, we don't. Uh, I, I, Do you have an email list? They have our emails. They have, all board members are uh, listed in uh, our annual report for, uh, magazine that we put out quarterly. Mm -hmm. And if they have any uh, questions, feel free to contact the board member. Mm -hmm. uh, the men on the board are really up to date on uh, what's going on in this. Was, uh, this is a, a construction project and it takes an effort to coordinate this. But we were supposed to have the final construct pre constructed meeting last Monday, but it uh, extended into today. We don't have a Facebook page, do we? No. Sorry. We have to come over to the if, if anybody would like to get a hold of me, my email is John Herman, just like my name, no caps, at peoplepc.com. All right, Jackowitz, John Herman at where? Peoplepc.com. Okay, we're going to see if we can help you. Okay. okay. Any questions from the, the, the public out there? What he's telling me is he's talking about everything about this much of the curving out, about two feet straight down of concrete, which means if you're parked in your driveway, 
You are not getting out for four or five days. <laughs> okay, so that's why, like, we got to figure out how to notify these people. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, to, on the same uh, uh, side of it, if you're involved, if your driveway is marked, be sure to be cut tomorrow or the right. next day right. and removed. And park across the street or on the street where there's no curb cuts being done. So that way, all the, uh, the cul de sacs of the curbs will be re re replaced or repaired as well. So there's a lot of cement work that needs to be done prior to anything else. And then, a the second phase after the cement is cured, we're going to uh, grade the roads down an inch and a half, fill it down, and then look what the base looks like. And then the final phase will be repayment after the base has been repaired and set and et cetera, et cetera. Whole process is about six weeks. Middle of May. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much to speak. <coughs> Name for the record, please. Uh, Mike, Mon Mike Monroe. I am the president of the Atlanta Homeless Association. Uh, back to John. ASI uh, is going to uh, communicate with the people who live in the houses before they do their oh. their, their, their curb work, so we're going to let them know. Okay. Uh, I warned uh, the treasurer that I was going to come this evening. I would like uh, to, to, to uh, speak on our landfill that's in our township. I believe that since all of the work has moved to the center of the landfill, is going to work its way out from the north to the south. That the uh, waste management, Woodland Meadows, needs to consider moving the entrance to the landfill from the north side to the south side. Uh, I believe this would be advantageous to our community for a number of reasons. Number one, <coughs> Van Born Road is a two lane road. The, uh, the south, and if, a, if, a, if an entrance was made to the south, which already exists because of the golf course that was abandoned, uh, trucks would utilize e course road, which is a four lane road, has turnarounds into the landfill and direct access, access off of 275. Right now, if a truck wants to enter into the landfill, they get off on Michigan Avenue or on e course and they got to travel. South to Van Bourne Road or north to Van Bourne Road. To me, that doesn't make any sense when we have an access to the landfill right off of E Course Road and limit the amount of time and traffic that is on our roads. I think this would be advantageous to all of us. A truck can get, get off 275 on E Course and be in the, in, the, in the landfill in a matter of seconds. And right now we got trucks going everywhere in our community. And it, it, to me, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, it made sense when the landfill operated from the north, from the north to the south, but now all of the operations are moving from north to the south, and we're gonna work their way out that way, anyways. Doing that means that the trucks go all the way inside of the landfill on dirt roads picking up the dust, picking up the mud, and when they come back out, it goes everywhere in our road. And if we just limit it to one road, I think it's advantageous to all of us. So I would like the board to prod, push, suggest, twist arms, and recommend that Woodland Meadows make their entrance off of E Course Road. I think it makes sense, it makes practical sense. Uh, I know that there would be some negatives on their part. They have to move their offices, they have to move their scale. Uh, I think that given the fact that the landfill is going to be in operation for at least another decade, well into the mid 30s, right? 30 years. Yeah. I think it makes perfect sense. Now is the time to do it. And, uh, and I think it would benefit all of the residents of Van Buren Township. Sounds like a good idea. We Thanks bring it for up bringing it forward. Um, is there anybody else from the public that wishes to speak now? Mr. Thomas? 
Uh, no comment on our uh, public participation link, Supervisor. Okay, anybody from the board that wishes to speak? I mean, we should work slow. Yeah, I have a quick comment on this. I would like to see something, <laughs> uh, some type of program put together. I'm standing in front of everyone that's present on the board and our directors. I just see some kind of program put together that's going to help clean the streets of Bamboo Township. The sideways and byways. There's too much trash on the sideways and byways of our township. And I'm hearing from a lot more than just me. A lot of people are complaining about this trash. I wanted to say something to the, the young lady that was sitting here with waste management because some of that is caused by them moving and dumping at the same time. I've, I've witnessed that. So maybe we can talk to them about that more forward because when they are picking up trash, I think they have a policy that they don't supposed to be moving while they take the door to the back. They're supposed to do that to steal. And sometimes when they do that, trash falls out from the door to the side of the road. Uh, I know that because I've witnessed that happening. But that's not all the trash on the our trash is from our residents. I, we need to put some kind of program that we can not only educate our residents on keep, uh, keeping the community clean, but also maybe talk with the associations, HOAs, on how we can work together to keep this, clean this township up and keep it clean. Director Lockton. Yep. To the chair, um, Dr. Wright, you're absolutely correct. Township is in bad shape. Um, 34th District has committed to revamping the community service program. I'm working with them where we're going to now attack an area of concern, like, say, for instance, Belleville Road. I will contact 34th District, say, I have a project, Belleville Road, between Tyler and e course and I'll tell them at that point I need a four-man crew for eight hours. They'll give me the names, they'll dispatch them out there, they'll give them best, all the equipment they need. They'll clean up the trash, bag it up, and then our building and ground folks will go scoop up the bags. So I realize that that is a concern with the garbage trucks as I see them when they move in and dumping at the same time. We will bring that up in waste management to try and limit some of that. But some of it is, again, as uh, Representative Miller said, from, from uh, Myers, so we spent a lot of time over there. So uh, we're doing everything. So hopefully with 34th District, we can get this thing back up and going and we won't see <clears throat> much trash around the township that we don't see. Right. Yeah, I think we the supervisor, we have some communication with Myers. They are we are modeling, we model their store for a reason because it's very lucrative. And if they're gonna stay in the township, they need to be a, a good corporate partner also. So that's a conversation we need to have with them. And we, we are having that conversation with them regularly. We also have a conversation with the board. And of course, allowing us to utilize some of our money to we're starting to clean up side of the roads coming down Belleville Road right now. We then had a meeting with the Downtown Development Authorities Board, and they have authorized us to use their streetscape money, streetscape money, to utilize the same attempts that we are utilizing to try and start. I, I don't think it's ever been done, every major road in the history of Van Buren. And so we're gonna try and get every major road this summer, and at least for one time, get it all picked up and see what's there. There's some old garbage in there. Yeah, and, and to the chair, uh, some of it is, now that Wayne County is out doing a little bit of cutting, it's making the trash more pronounced now. Yeah. So we, we, we're gonna get there. That's good. Okay, thanks. Any other questions or comments on that? Okay. Hearing none, can I get a motion for a turn? So we have Mr. Boynton, Trustee, Mr. Board, 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 Board. 
Oh, uh, hearing no discussion. All in favor? 